Hello, my name is Luis. I am the English pronunciation instructor of UNICEF. And right next to me is my Vietnamese friend, Brian. Okay. Uh, hôm nay thầy Luis sẽ thầy Luis sẽ chịu trách nhiệm về uh, trình ngữ âm. Hôm nay thầy, thầy Luis sẽ cùng với uh, mình ha uh, giúp các bạn chỉnh sửa một số bài tập về ngữ âm đây là một số bài tập từ các bạn học viên của UNICEF. Okay. So today we are going to listen to some audio clips from our students, and we will have the script on the screen right now, as you can see. Okay. Bây giờ mình sẽ tới với một bài ghi âm đầu tiên. Ha. Bài này là của bạn Hải Nguyễn, là một học viên của lớp Intensive Class. Okay. Bây giờ mình sẽ đi theo từng câu ha. Okay. Before I show you guys the audio example, I'm going to read you guys the sentences, okay? This is a very long audio clip, so I broke it down sentence by sentence, and I will read it slowly as possible and show you guys the shape of my mouth. So in case you are struggling with certain words, it is very good to listen and look at my mouth. Bây giờ thầy sẽ đọc, thầy Louis sẽ đọc từ câu ha và sẽ phân tích kỹ về cái phần ngữ âm các bạn nhớ chú ý khẩu hình của thầy ha okay so let's start it says my life has a lot of experiences for example when I studied kindergarten I was extremely nervous since I had to be with the other children so This sentence right here is not correct English, but today's the focus is on pronunciation. So I will show you the audio clip now of our students saying it. Câu này nó cũng chưa đúng hết về từ pháp đâu ha. Nhưng mà bây giờ hôm nay thì thầy Lui sẽ chú trọng vào phần âm ha. Okay. For my life has a lot of experience. For example, so first part he says, "My life, my life." I'll show you him saying that. My life has. My life. Make sure that you don't do that. So what's happening is he's very close with his mouth. So what you want is my life, 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 wide mouth. So you could have the I in life. Mm. My, my life. My life. Okay. So to help you see that, I'm gonna write down. So my life. Learn giọng từ life. My life has a lot of experiences. A lot of experience. He says experience. There's an S. So you make sure you say experiences. Mm. Rồi, ai biết mình bị lỗi chưa? Ha? Experiences, nha. Yeah, có hết xem qua là experience. Okay, let me erase that real quick. So experiences. Mm, experiences. Next. For example, when I studied kindergarten. So he says for example. Make sure you do for example. Exam. Exam. We don't like exam, ha. Huh? Exam. Example. Example. When I studied kindergarten. Kinder. Kin. 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 So the best thing to do is separate. Kin. Kin. Der. Garten. Kinder. Garten. So make sure you don't say kinder or Kinder, kinder, make sure you open your mouth. Yeah, no, yeah. Kindergarten. Yes. I was extremely nervous. So, I was extremely, make sure you don't say that, say extremely. Mm. Extremely. Yes, right? yes. Extreme. E-X-T. Mm. E-X-T. Make sure you have a s, s, x, x, mm. x. Yeah, but the S, uh, extreme. 
extremely yeah, nervous. Extremely. Yeah. So I'll show you guys one more time him saying it. Pattern. I was extremely nervous. Extremely. Extremely. Seeing I had to be with the other two. Uh, sense. 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 Since I had, since I, I separate the words. Since I had to be. So, uh, had to be is very hard because the D and the T, uh, they kind of slur. So make sure you always separate. Stop, stop, stop. Had to be. Had to be. Had to be. Children. What? Saying I had to be with. He mixed it. Had to be. Had to be. Had to be. Make sure all the letters are sounded. The other. Okay. Children. One more time. Sorry. With the other children. So, other. Mm, other. He has an R sound to it. Mm, don't say other, right? The other. Say other. Mm, other. 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 So, make sure you have the shape of your mouth. Your tongue has to be in between your teeth. Other. There. There. TH is a very hard sound to make for most people. So, make sure you work on the letter th the the there other children 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 he says children so say children 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 <laughs> uh so that's the first sentence right here there's a lot to say but um not too bad, not too bad. So let's go to the next one. When I enrolled to the primary school, I had to wear uniform. And it made me look like classmates. So the English is very, very wrong. If you wanted to say it correctly, I'll write it down on a different note. But right now. Let me write down. So this one you really need to fix it because um when you say I when I enrolled to the primary school, you say when I enrolled to mm. when I enrolled to primary school. When I enrolled to primary school, I had to wear a uniform. I had to wear a uh, a, a uniform a mouth, and it made me look like uh, the look like uh, the sorry the other classmates mm. so when I enrolled to primary school I had to wear a uniform and it made me and it and it so in conversational English, a lot of the time, and it gets yeah. slurred together. So Trong connect them. Nói, mình rất hay sử dụng nối từ. Đó, mình nói từ and and it, and it. Right? And it, yes. Mm. And it made me look like the other classmates. Mm. So I fixed the English, so the audio is not going to match it. I'm sorry. But uh, let's listen to what our students said. When I enrolled to when another example of I you need to make sure you go up mm. when I when I I I am exaggerating but make sure you drop your jaw mm. the primary school Pri. P. P. This the letter P in primary P. your lips go in your mouth you bite on your lips. Primary. Primary. Yeah. 
I had to wear uniform. So I had to wear a uniform. Uh, that was okay, but uh, as you see, he didn't say that, uh, the correct English. It's okay, we're just focusing on pronunciation today. Okay. And it made me look like... So, like, what happened right here, he didn't connect it right. So he did and it. Make sure you say, and it. Mm, and it. And so, it. and it. So it goes up, you don't go down. And it. And it. So stay up. And it. And it. Then yum. And it. And it made me look like the other children. I clap my eyes. Uniform. And it made me look like clap my eyes. Hmm. And it made me look like classmates. And it made me look like classmates. So right here, we fix the English. Made me look. Made me look. Separate. Made me look like the other, the other ch classmates. Đọc rõ từng từ ha. Make me look like. Okay. So now we we'll go to the next one. So these are two new brand sentences, brand new sentences. <laughs> so let's start with the first one. And when I, when I connect, and when I studied the secondary school, so make sure you don't say, and the, you just say, when I studied, primary or the secondary school so I you say the, huh? and when I studied secondary school mathematics was you don't say is was was a nightmare however uh, it's a science so you wouldn't say that you would just say however science and you don't need to include subject. Science was. Hmm. Okay, why not? It's a science. You can not eat. You can not eat. Science was. Yes, science was very popular. Very popular. So uh, even before I even listened to it, you gotta make sure that the grammar is correct. So is uh, and change to was. Make sure that the time makes sense. We're talking about previously so make sure you say past tense words and now let's listen to our student and when i studied the secondary school so what happened he said and when i so make sure you say and when oh. i blend it when i no, when no. i uh, when i make sure you blend this when oh. i and when i studied studied he said, um, the secondary school. And when I studied the secondary school, when I studied very closed mouth, make sure you open. Studied. Stu, stu, studied. Study. Okay. When I studied secondary school, that was good. Mars, Martis. This is a very hard word, so let's separate it. Math. So I know there's an E, but this becomes a UH sound. Matha. Matha. Matics. Matha. Matics. Mathematics was a nightmare. is a nightmare. There's no S. So make sure you don't add an S to words mm. unless you're talking about multiple things. I mean, I'm gonna S, huh? I'm gonna S you, yeah. However, is a science suggest? He went up on so. Instead of, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to make sure you say sub, sub, you drop. So when you say the word subject, make sure you say subject, subject, 
it sounds like you're going down up down up subject 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 okay think of a v very popular uh this happens all the time very you he uh, raise it in the end make sure you don't raise it you keep it flat very very keep this word very flat very very popular very pop pop p o p popular 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 science suggest is a science suggest very popular so it makes sure you don't separate pop and euler Keep it together popular 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 pop pop you hear that i'm doing that to show the emphasis on the p okay next sentence I had grammar for. I had crammed. I had crammed. I makes you go up. I I had crammed. Uh, no need for uh, for you say two. I had I had crammed to to prepare for my future. There's a, a for after prepare, so you can't say I cram for prepare for. You need to have different words. I cram to prepare for my future. It needs to add a pronoun, so you say I revised every day. I memorized recipes. So you make sure you talk about who you started with the word I. You need to continue that. I memorized recipes. I finished a huge assignments, but my grade was normal. I finished. You gotta make sure you say I. And every time you say I, raise it. I. I. Good. I finished a huge assignment, but my grade was normal. So now let's listen to our student. Prepare for my future. He says prepare. So it's an A. Prepare. Pair. Pair. It's a hard word. <laughs> air. Air. Pair. Pre pair. Another prepare. A prepare. Prepare. Okay. Continuing. Revise every day. Uh, you said the word correctly, but um, like I said, you need to say, I revised every day. That was very good. He rose on the first part. I, you say, I revised every day. Memorized recipes. So, memorized, that was good. He wrote it on memorized, memorized recipes. 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 He said, Revise every day. Memorize recipes. He says recipes. Make sure you don't do that. You put it together. Recipes. Recipe. If you're struggling with the sound, think of uh, uh, uh. Recipes. Recipes. Finished a uh, finished a a 
a try not to say uh uh don't do that say a finished a huge assignment finished a huge yeah. assignment next one new assignment so uh he added the s in the very end so make sure you do assignments assignments so uh go up assign you stay up mints assignments assignments make sure you, when you say the word sign on assignments you go up assignments sigh let me show you my face assignments assignments But my grade was normal. Let's listen to that one more time. Memorize recipes. Finish a huge assignment. Huge. I didn't catch that, but good thing we listened to that. When you say huge, make sure you do j at the end of the sound. J. Huge. Huge. The sound of a G E. J. J, huge. U lives out. J, j, huge. Okay. But my grade. So, grade, grade. Make sure when you say the word grade, the D is shown. D. So grade, grade, not grade. Great. It's grade. 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 Finished a huge assignments, but my grade was normal. My grade was normal. When you say was, uh, try not to make an ER sound. He did a words. Say was. Make sure a lot of the words just open the jaw more. Was nor, nor. It's the sound of the N O R. Nor, nor. He says nor in E R. My right was normal. 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 A huge assignments, but my grade was normal. Let's continue. 